my wife loves decorating for Halloween at the beginning of September. <laughs> um, if it's October 1, she's really celebrating the entire time. Uh, and I think that certain times of the year are really like that. They're very meaningful for people. And for me, um, this is one of those periods that I think a lot of people undervalue. Um, from Ash Wednesday to Good Friday, there is um, a whole sense of lament and grief and pause. And it feels like that would be something you want to shy away from. Uh, but growing up in uh, more of an evangelical church where all you really seemed to hear was just the good news, the good news, good news, everything is great, everything is positive. Um, it, it's hard sometimes to acknowledge the difficulty. And when I went to seminary, uh, I started to encounter some really um, great colleagues and friends and authors and professors that uh, opened up a whole different world, particularly in the Psalm of Lament. Uh, there's a number of them, but this this one in particular, I feel really draws in the idea of what it means to feel hopeless and helpless of the psalmist writing and crying out that, that everything in their life seemingly has gone bad and wrong and that inner sense of just darkness and depression that they're feeling and, and, and that it feels like God is being drawn down into that hole. I was out earlier today um, just trying to get different shots for Easter weekend. I was on the side of a road and there was, you know, beautiful hill view from about a couple miles from my house and uh, I was out there, I was pulled inside the road and I was trying to get uh, an angle shot and uh, this county sheriff pulls up uh, and he was like, hey, I, he saw me struggling with the, the phone to try and get the camera angle right. He said, I can hold that for you. He came out and we were just talking and he shared some different spots in the area that um, that would be very meaningful and useful. And then we shook hands and, uh, and then I got in my car and he offered me some hand sanitizer and I said, oh, I have some. And then he drove off and, and I didn't even think about it until later, um, hours later, really, I was sitting and I was telling Lisa about that encounter and she went, you shook somebody's hand? And it just dawned on me that things seemingly are different. Um, and that and it's okay to grieve the things that we're losing. It's okay to grieve the things in life that you lose. That every day is not about resurrection and greatness. And, and there is time for that. And it's wonderful to be able to celebrate that. But I always feel like when we run past this day, when we run past Good Friday and the significance of everything that it is and it means, that we lose a little bit of the story. That some people feel like maybe they're not a part of the story because their life isn't resurrection and triumph and roses and there's things that have gone on in their life that have caused a great amount of grief and pain because they've lost things. I think we all are starting to understand a little bit what it means to lose things as a, as a society, as a community. And we try to make do in the midst of that as best as we can. But I love this day. I love this time of year. It's a reminder that you're not alone in your struggles, that you're not alone in your laments, that these statements and feelings have been uttered thousands and thousands, millions of times before over thousands of years by different voices that understand the grief and the pain that comes from loss. Oh, oh, oh.
Thank you.